Get a cup, get a cup, get a cup. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. What is up, you guys? I'm Fresh Cuts Lemon. Today, I'm going to be reacting to SML Movie Junior's Crazy Girlfriend by SML. Now, this is recommended to me. There's this one and another one where Junior's a crazy boyfriend. So, I'm going to be reacting to this one first. I think it is first in the... I think this is, this, like, you know, series. I don't know, whatever. But I think it's story progressing or something. I think it has to do with Penelope, who's apparently Junior's girlfriend. At least in the more newer videos. So I guess this is their first date. I don't know. But with that being said, the original link's in the description. Without any further ado, let's begin. All right, Cross. Welcome to the second day of school. It's technically the first day of school because you didn't go to school on Monday because the bus got stolen and then exploded. So I'm sure you are all traumatized from that. So today is going to be a free day. So you get to just talk amongst yourselves. And I'm going to be over here listening to my Chinese heritage music. I can Oh no, what's this gonna be? And be your Batman, cause I be Robin. Oh, one no lap dance, bitch, give me noggin. Guys, we have a free day! <laughs> well, I'm going home. I'm gonna practice quantum theory. Hey, Cody, you dare me to ask Penelope to be my girlfriend? She's gonna say no. Watch this. Hey, Penelope, since we have a free day, you wanna make out? Ew, no, Junior! So you don't wanna be my girlfriend? No! Well, then I'll ask another girl. Hey, Jenny Wobble Knees! Yes, Junior! Wow, you got some wobbly knees. Yes, that's my name! Well, do you want to be my girlfriend? Oh, yes, of course! What? Hell no! Junior, I'll be your girlfriend! What, you will? Yeah, I want to be your girlfriend! Why? Oh, because you're just jealous that someone else gets to be? I guess that would mean that you'd have some kind of attraction to him then, right? There's no reason to be jealous unless you want that, or envious, unless you want that position. Uh, well, you just said no. No, but I, I changed my mind. I, I, I love you. Oh, uh, you do? Yeah! Hey, Cody, I got a girlfriend! Oh, that's cool. I mean, I prefer pickle smooching, but hey, whatever else is you do. <laughs> pickle smooching. <laughs> Never heard of that in my life. Jimmy's. Hey, Penelope, you're dating me now, so you want to come over to my house and hang out? Yeah, of course! All right, let's go! Okay! So, Penelope, now that we're boyfriend and girlfriend, what do you want to do? Ooh! Netflix. Oh, I know how that ends. What are you talking about? You know, Netflix and chill. What's that? You know, while you're watching Netflix, after a while it says, are you still watching? Someone's daughter. What? <laughs> I mean, what did she expect though? Like she didn't want to kiss him, but then she wants to be in a relationship, which normally then kissing is kind of, you know, associated with that. I don't get it. Yeah, let's watch Netflix. Okay. What do you want to watch? <gasps> let's watch Bridgerton. Is that a documentary on bridges? No, Junior, it's a period piece. It's about women's periods? No, Junior, it's about the Bridgerton family finding love. That sounds gay. Let's watch Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. No, come on, Junior, let's watch the first episode. I promise you'll love it. Okay. Oh, Simon. Yes, my dear. You know we can't get caught together. Oh, relax, darling. All we did was tongue punch each other's fat boxes. Oh, you did, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, what are you doing in secret with this harlot? Oh shit, nothing! Well, I can see her ankles and her Nikes. You must marry her for soiling her innocence. Trust and her dope Richard, shoes. I've done much more than soil just her innocence. Simon, if you're gonna marry me, you must know. I'm a man. Oh, trust me, darling. I already know. Yeah, we all know. We all know. Oh my god, isn't this show amazing? I have AIDS. Don't you like it? <laughs> oh no, it's great. I knew you would like it. Junior, get off your phone. You're gonna miss it. I'm sure I'm not missing a damn thing. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just texting my boys group chat. What are you saying? We're just talking about the homework the teacher gave out. The teacher didn't give out homework, oh, hey. Junior. This shit is boring as hell. Someone shoot me? Junior, this is boring to you? Wait, the show is boring, but not you. Do you want me to leave? No, 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 no. Let's just do something else. Netflix is lame. Oh, I could do your makeup. I'm a, I'm a boy. I don't wear makeup. Oh, come on, Junior. It'd be super fun, and you'd look so cute. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's every, that's every real man's goal to look cute. Not saying you can't. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's everyone's goal. <laughs> Do these shorts make my butt look fat? <laughs> what does that mean? Come on, Junior! <sighs> oh my god, Junior, you look so good! This is so embarrassing. Did you really have to put earrings in? They're clip-ons! No, they're not. You pushed them right through my ear. Hey, Junior, ready for boys' night? <laughs> He's gonna turn around. And then uh, Cody's gonna want to do some pickle punching or whatever he said it was called. Boys night? Oh, Junior. <gasps> oh no! They didn't massacre my 
my boy! Guys, it's not what it looks like. She wanted to put makeup on me for fun. Junior, this is pretty gay, and I'm gay. Please tell me you didn't chop it off, dude. You better wipe this makeup off right now. No, Junior, you can wash it off later. I want pictures. You are not taking pictures of me looking like this. Junior, what are your friends doing here? You're supposed to be hanging out with me. But every Friday night is boys' night. Well, tell them to leave. But no, these are my boys. We. This is what happens in relationships. You know, if when you get into a relationship, your friends are normally pushed away to make room for your significant other. I've seen this happen a lot where, you know, someone will get into a relationship and then their close friends are obviously, you know, you can't hang out with them as much because you're dating someone. So you got to make, you have to kind of balance all these different people now, right? You got to balance your actual relationship with your friends and you got to set your priorities straight and relationships require work. They're a little bit more challenging than friendships. And although, yes, it if you are in a relationship, you are, it's good if the person you're in a relationship with is your friend. That's just kind of how it's supposed to go. But you also have other friends you got to make room for, right? It's a balancing act. And we, Junior, Junior's going to learn that. Everything together. We've peed our pants together. We've actually peed on each other before. That was my favorite day. What? We're bloodhounds. More like piss hounds. We're piss pals. We made a piss pact. Piss is thicker than blood. Mm-hmm. Well, I actually have a UTI, so it's kind of both. Ew. Listen, Penelope, if you just let me hang out with them tonight, I promise I'll hang out with you all day tomorrow. Ugh, fine, Junior. But share your location with me so I know where you're at at all times. Okay. <laughs> I hate freaking the location tracking crap. I hate that. She really doesn't trust him, does she? Hey. Dang, I ain't know my boy was in prison. Free Junior. Yeah, Junior, that's a little extreme. Listen, guys, I finally have a girlfriend and I don't want her to break out with me, so I'm just sharing my location. Okay, what do you want to do? Well, now that she's gone, you want to go see Blue Beetle? Of course I want to go see Blue Beetle, guys. All right, let's go. Let's go. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me call Penelope and tell her what I'm doing. Why? Because she's going to see my location at the movies and she's going to question it. Let me just call her real quick. Just really quick. Okay, guys, it's ringing. Is he, is he gonna like, he probably should wash this makeup up off before he goes to the movies. Hi, Junior, you miss me already? Yeah, that, that's why I'm calling. What you doing? You know, just hanging out with the boys, you saw him. Prove it. <sighs> Guys, can you talk so she knows you're here? <sighs> hey, Penelope, it's me, Cody. Oh, oh, blow my back out, Junior! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I remember doing stuff like that when I was younger. You're on the phone with someone, and then or so your friends on the phone with someone, and you're in the background just making dumb sounds. Yeah, oh, who's that? Uh, it's just Joseph screwed around. Joseph, actually talk. Oh no, it's Josephine with a fat ass. Oh, oh. Junior, is that a girl? Uh, Cody, please, Cody, Cody, tell her. No, Penelope, it's me, Cody. That's just Joseph. Oh, okay, I believe you now. So I was calling because my friends want to go see Blue Beetle in the movies, and I was wondering if I can go with them. No, Junior, I wanted to watch that with you. Well, can you come with us tonight? No, let's go tomorrow. <sighs> okay, I won't go. Okay, I'll check your location later. Okay, thank you. I this relationship does not seem like it's going to last all that long, you know? I can't go, guys. Whoosh! You hear that, Cody? Whoosh! Oh, it sounds like somebody's pussy whip! Yeah, Junior, how heavy's the chain? Well, oh, guys, I want to go with you, I just can't! No, you want to stay back and paint your fingernails and stick your dick in your ass. I get it, I get it. What, <laughs> what the frick was that last part? Stick your... <laughs> why, like, why did you have to ask her regardless? Like, did she say anything prior that she wanted to go to that movie? I don't think so. Why would you have to ask then? I don't know. I'm gonna leave you be. Well, no, no, guys. You know, I will leave my phone here and I will go with you guys. Oh, he actually has a dick, Cody. Oh! Yeah, Junior, way to whip it out. Yeah, guys, let's go. Let me wipe this makeup off and we'll go. I'm leaving my phone. All right, guys, let's watch Blue Beetle. Anybody want some corn that's been popped? Hey, Cody, how long is this movie? I don't know, like two hours? Two hours? Dude, what's the problem? Enjoy the movie. Yeah, it's the length of a normal movie. No, this movie's super long. Can we leave after 30 minutes if it sucks? No. But, but what if she's calling me? Junior, stop worrying about it. Two hours is not long, like, at, that's like the perfect length for a movie, I think. Like an hour and a half, uh, that's way too short. Two hour, two and a half hours is like on the longer side, but three hours is like ridiculously long. But the Lord of the Rings trilogies are insanely long. They're like, <laughs> I just finished watching the, uh, the third, I forget what it's called, the third Lord of the Rings movie. And it's really good, but holy crap, it's long. It, and it was the director's cut, so that's, Four and a half hours long. Four and a half hours long. That was, that was, oh my gosh. I don't, <laughs> why is it so long? And the last half hour of it, like, I don't think was even needed. 
because there was like seven different scenes which could have been perfect endings if they had just cut it off and it stopped it there. But it just kept going on and on and on and on. And by the end of it, my friend and I were just laughing because of like, you did, you thought it was going to be the end and there's another scene. And you thought that was going to be the end and then there's another scene. And it just kept going. <laughs> but they're great movies. Don't get me wrong. They're great movies. Just way too long for me. And watch Blue Beetle. Yeah, enjoy yourself. But what if she's talking to another guy because I'm not answering? Dude, you're finally off the leash and you won't watch the movie. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm being crazy. I'm being crazy. Uh, guys, what if that girl next to me, what, what if she's Penelope's friend and sends a picture of me at the movies? <sighs> Junior, that's not gonna happen. You're not dating the girl from Spy Kids. Are you taking a picture of me? No. Do you know who Penelope is? Who? Junior, leave that girl alone. Okay, you're right. You're right. I'm just gonna watch. It's gonna seem like he may have some kind of a psychological problem. Watch the movie and eat some, eat some popcorn. Oh, thank God that movie's over. Where's my phone? It's right here. Oh, Jesus, Junior. This is borderline psychotic. Over a hundred missed calls? Damn, dude. How big is it? Obviously, you're packing something and she's this crazy. I just started dating her today. Yeah, you should probably call her back. Oh, she's gonna be mad. What do I tell her? Just tell her you went to the movies with us. No, Cody. You never tell women the truth. Don't make it easy for them. Stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna lie to her and say I was in the bathroom or something. For two hours? I'll tell her. It won't be the first time I've been in there for two hours. <laughs> that I ate an expired can of SpaghettiOs. It'll do it to you. I guess. All right, let me call her. Everyone shut up. Shh. All right, guys, it's ringing. Junior! What's wrong? I called you 106 times. Why didn't you answer? You called me 106 times? That sounds like perfectly normal behavior. But look, I didn't answer my phone because I was in the bathroom and I left my phone on the couch. No one leaves their phone when they go to the bathroom. Well, I ate an expired can of SpaghettiOs and it poop and started leaking out my butt, so I just ran to the bathroom. For two hours? Yeah, I ran out of toilet paper, so then Chef Pee had to go to the store and get me more toilet paper. I don't believe you, Junior. You had some girl over. I did not have a girl over. She doesn't, does she even actually like Junior? Because in the beginning, she didn't even want to like, you know, kiss, kiss him or whatever. And then she just got like envious of someone else, which then I'm not sure if she actually just likes, with it, but then you must. Like, why else would you be envious unless you actually like that person, right? But, like, this is crazy. This is, like, yeah, like, your first relationship or thing. you don't really know how to behave or whatever. 99% of relationships end in train wrecks, and I think this this one's coming to a, a wreckage pretty fast. I still have Joseph and Cody. Cody, say hi. Hi, Penelope. Say hi, Joseph. Oh, oh, I'll put it right there, Daddy. Yeah, right on my face. Oh, it smells so nice. Put it on my lip. Oh, yeah. Junior, I'm coming over right now! Okay, fine. Yeah, come over. This I have nothing to hide. Joseph, why would you do that? Oh, dude, I don't give a fuck, dude. I just... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, guys, okay, look, we have to get a can of expired spaghetti so she knows I'm telling the truth. Or you could just tell her the truth. No, you never be honest with women, Cody. <laughs> okay, that's her. Guys, get the spaghetti -os. Hello? Where is she? W who? The girl. There is no other girl. It's just Joseph and Cody. Okay, prove it. Okay, I'll show you. See, Penelope, it's just Joseph and Cody. Now, where's that can of SpaghettiOs? Oh, I don't know, dude. I was just telling Cody about how amazing Blue Beetle was, remember? Junior, you saw Blue Beetle. Uh, Joseph's really had to wreck this relationship, huh? Without me? Oh, no, no, no. They went and saw it while I was in the bathroom. My, my phone was here. The location was here. Or you could have left your phone behind for two hours while you saw the movie. Bingo! She's a smart one. That did not happen. I was here in the bathroom. Oh, yeah? Then why did my friend Amelia send me this selfie, huh? Oh, Cody, that girl did take a picture of us. <laughs> Damn, cut in 4K. Junior, you lied to me! Look, I just wanted to go see Blue Beetle with my friends. If you ever do this again, I'm breaking up with you. I'll never do it again. And if I FaceTime you and you don't answer, it's over! I'll always answer. Damn. I think at that point, if someone was talking to me like that, I'd be like, I don't need this. It's over. It's over now. I don't need this. I like to live a nice, stress-free life. But I'm freaking stressed out. You didn't tell me you cut it off again. Can I keep it? I mean, you're not using it. Come on. Yeah, Junior, you're being kind of a simp. Well, no, I'm not being a simp, guys. A whole lot of simp behavior, dude. Come on. Oh, guys, I just wanted to date Penelope for years, and I'm finally dating her. I didn't know she'd be a little crazy. A little? I'd hate to see what a lot looks like. So you guys think I should break up with her? Yes. Yeah, that bitch baloney, dude. Yeah, that bitch is baloney. Yeah, Oscar Mayer, Junior. Okay, guys, I'll break up with her, but can you guys hide under the couch in case she tries to hit me? Okay. I guess. Yeah. If anything, I'd want them to be up so they can help defend me. <laughs> you know? I think I can squeeze under here. Okay. Penelope, can you come back here? Yes, Junior? Well, you know how we're dating? Yeah. What if we didn't? Didn't what? Date. 
Junior, don't be silly. We belong together. We're going to have beautiful, pale ginger babies. Oh, yeah, babies. <laughs> that bit Delulu. <laughs> shut, shut up, Joseph. Oh, my bad, dude. Uh, nothing, nothing. So I was basically just trying to tell you that we, I think that maybe it would be best if... <gasps> Who's texting you? Uh, Jenny Wobbleknees? Do you want to make my knees wobble? Look, she knows we're dating and she doesn't like... I don't think she needs help with that. Thank you, so she's just trying to get us to break up. I'll block her right now. Yeah, block her, Junior. I'm blocking her. Junior, just do it. Wait, what? do what? Is that Cody? Cody, come out from under the couch. Hold on, it's kind of a tight squeeze. Ugh. Hey, what's up? Cody, can you tell her for me? Oh, what, that she's baloney? What? Yeah, you're baloney. What does that mean? Well, you know, it's like the worst lunch meat. What? I mean, I'm more of a kosher ham and cheese man myself. <sighs> I'm a black forest ham kind of... I'm more of a wiener man myself. <laughs> I was expecting Cody to say something like that. Guy. What is going on? <sighs> Joseph, can you tell her for me? Okay, dude. Look. Your ass is grass. You need to go. Bye. Benito. Get gone. Leave. Cause you're for the streets, baby. I'm so confused. Cody, can you tell her? He's breaking up with you. What? Why? Because you're crazy. You called me 108 times. You won't let me hang out with my friends. You need my location. It's just getting really bad. But Junior, you lied to me. We just need to communicate better. Well, it's true. You did lie to her, Junior. So, Junior, we can fix this. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I don't know if she understood what you were doing. I'm confused. Did we break up? I don't know. I don't think so. It'd be like that sometimes, dude. I'm just gonna put my Facebook to It's Complicated. Yeah, that should cover it. <sighs> what would you do if you're dating someone crazy? Well, I believe, uh, uh who's the guy from Twilight? But he had like a crazy fan. I believe it was him at least, where he took the fan on a date and he just complained about his life the whole time and then she never bothered him again. So that kind of would be what you'd have to do here, where you just have to make this person really not like you or find you boring or whatever if you wanted to break up. Now, you could also just approach things like an adult and say it like it is, but you gotta you gotta phrase things properly, right? Everything or most things in life are about phrasing. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I think it was pretty funny. I like um Joseph trying to ruin the relationship by making sounds. Cause I remember doing stuff like that, you know, when I was younger, it was someone's on the phone. Even if it's not like a relationship wise, if someone's talking to uh you know, someone's putting an order for pizza on the phone and you're in the background making uh, <laughs> sounds. <laughs> it's just stupid. But it's kind of funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, I think I'd read it sort of a 10, probably at like a 7.5. I, I, I enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next episode where it sounds like it sounds like Junior's going to be the one who's crazy to her in the next episode because it's kind of Junior the crazy boyfriend. So maybe he's trying to get rid of her by just being like crazy, I guess. I don't know. Well, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.